so how do you get into a Justin Bieber music video? I don't know, but <laughs> here's how I did it. So before I go any further, I just wanna say why I'm doing this video, like why now? It is the 10 year anniversary. It's been 10 years, is that so crazy? 10 years since one time music video came out, since one time came out, that's absolutely nuts. So I wanted to share my experience and give all you guys the tea. There you go. I would so appreciate if you guys would like and subscribe, that would be super, super appreciated. Thanks guys. So back in 2009, I was doing like acting, singing, dancing. It was super fun, I really enjoyed it. And I went to this casting call for, I wanna say Anna's Linen or something for a commercial. I didn't get the job, sadly. <laughs> oh well. But the casting director really liked me. He liked my look, he was so sweet. He submitted my headshot for this music video. At the time, I had no idea who Justin Bieber was. I think I had seen a video of his on YouTube someone showed me, but I don't really, it wasn't like a name I really knew. Fast forward, my manager and I are in LA. Had no idea that he had submitted my headshot. We're out there for like some workshop or something and we get a call from the guy. I think his name was Chris. He said, hey, so I submitted Kristen's headshot for a music video. The director wants to meet you. Can you make it to downtown LA? My manager was like, yeah, we're in LA. Perfect, we can do it. Let's schedule it. However, I wasn't really dressed for that kind of audition or for a music video. So we went to H&M, I got clothes, went to downtown LA, met the manager, so sweet. And that was it. Then my manager and I, we came home which let me tell you was about like an hour and a half drive because we live outside of LA. So we get home, I go to my room, he drops me off, he goes home, then I get a call. He's like, hey Kristen, I need you to get dressed again. The artist wants to meet you in Venice Beach. I was like, I've been home for two minutes. Okay, like let me change really quick. And he comes back over five minutes later, picks me up, we go back out to LA and Venice Beach. This was all on a Saturday, guys. The video was shooting the very next day on a Sunday. So we go to Venice Beach where Justin Bieber is doing his uh, photo shoot for his album title. And again, did not care about Justin Bieber. However, I did hear the Usher was in this black SUV like parked right next to me. All I could think was like, dude, Usher's in there. Like, Usher's in that car, like that's so cool. I was like, dude, this kid must be a big deal because Usher is here. All that to say, I meet Justin, we shake hands, we kind of chat for like maybe a minute, nothing really memorable about it. And I head home, that was it. So my manager on our way home, he was like, hey, you know, if we don't hear like right away, you probably didn't get the job, like don't let it rock you, like it's normal. I was like, yeah, no worries, like I'm fine. Wake up the next day, which is a Sunday, go to church. And after church, I was washing my dad's car because after church on Sundays, I would wash my dad's car to make a little bit of money. So that way when I went to Disneyland, I could go spend money. <laughs> I had plans to wash the car and go to Disneyland with my siblings. But I'm washing the car. My mom literally runs out so fast out of the front door and yelling at me like, Kristen, Kristen. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like what did I do? She's like, you need to go get dressed right now. Like you got the job, you need to go. Like you need to stop washing the car and go. And I was like, okay, okay. Like she goes back in the house and I am still drying the car because I know if I leave these windows wet and there are water spots on this car, like I am not getting paid. I'm gonna get like yelled at, <laughs> I'm like it's a whole thing. So I was like, I'm gonna wash, dry off the window. A couple minutes later, runs back out at me so angry. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, we need to go. And I was like, mom, I have to dry the windows. Do you know dad? She dragged me in the house. We had no idea what to expect. So I just put on like a bunch of makeup. And at that time being 15 years old, a bunch of makeup. It's a lot of makeup. <laughs> but we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know if it was gonna be like this really high budget video or like a really low budget video with like, one handheld camera, like you just don't know. I throw a bunch of clothes in a bag because my manager said like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if they'll have makeup. I don't know if they'll have wardrobe. So just like be prepared. My manager comes, picks me up. We go to LA. There's a bunch of kids already there. Everyone's already been here all day long. I got there probably around like 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. like in the afternoon because we had to drive to LA, which is an hour and a half. So the day has already been done. And with the laws, children's laws because we were all under 18 you can only have children working for so long 
at a time. Hence the reason, guys, I am only in the second half of the video. If you notice, I don't walk in the door until a minute and a half. And that's because I wasn't there. So I walk in and like everyone's like, oh my gosh, she's here, she's here. Justin like is like, hey, 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 like how are you? Like I'm so excited you're here. And I get sat down in hair and makeup. They take off like all my makeup that I had already caked on and they get me wardrobe and all I'm hearing this whole time. I hear Justin's manager telling my mom and my manager and like everyone saying how like Justin was so smitten and like he's so smitten with her like he was so upset when she wasn't here because he thought that she was the girl like all this stuff and I kind of like hear it by eavesdropping a little bit but I'm so much happening around me I don't really notice so I'm sitting in the makeup chair Justin comes in sits down next to me and he goes so yeah I stopped the entire music video um for you because like I was I didn't want the other girl like I wanted you to be the girl and I was like Okay, <laughs> like, cool, thanks, awesome. I remember vividly Justin's mom was talking to my mom, so Patty was talking to my mom. They found out that they're both believers and they both, um, they're both Christians and how like Patty's been raising Justin and stuff like that. And so I find out that Justin's a Christian. So as we're sitting there, okay, I'm sure Sean, my editor can input this little clip from the video. We're like leaning across, like I wanna say like a fireplace and like everyone's dancing around us and we're kinda of like talking. I remember saying like, dude, like you're a Christian, like that's so cool, me too. And then I was like, what's your favorite color? And like that, that's what we talked about. And like, it was so kind of like awkward. That's why we're like laughing. Cause I just was like excited that we had that in common. Another thing, some fun facts about the video was during the like party scene where everyone's like kind of like dancing, I'm dancing next to Justin. I hope he's not mad that I'm saying this. It's not embarrassing, but it's not great. Um, Justin had to stand on an apple box because I was just a little bit taller than him. So he had to like stand on just like this little wooden box. Oh, my mom. She's like, Kristen, whenever like we would call cut, She'd be like, Kristen, you need to stop mouthing the words. <laughs> like, you need to stop mouthing the song. Because <laughs> if you look in the video, you'll see me like mouthing along the song and like, I really shouldn't be doing that because it's kind of weird. I remember that. There's a lot of stuff that actually got cut from the music video because it was supposed to be very Disney oriented. And Justin had like a lot of swagger at the time. He was like, pull my chin at him. He'd like go like this and do like this. And like, it was just not Disney appropriate apparently. And it got cut. So all I could hear then from the managers after like we had been filming for a little bit, dude, Justin's got his swagger on now. He's so smitten with this girl, like all this stuff. And I being like, I grew up very innocent and like sheltered, I guess you could say. I don't know, I was just like, okay, like awesome, <laughs> cool. Like I didn't know how to act with that. Then we were filming the outdoor pool scene. Okay, so you're gonna get up and walk away and I need you to kiss him on the cheek. I was like, okay. I had never kissed a guy on the cheek before. <laughs> I, being 15 years old, you would have thought that I would have by then, but I hadn't. And I was kind of really nervous, but I obviously didn't want that to show because I'm 15 and didn't want to be like, I don't know, I was just like so insecure. You'll see it that that kiss is so quick. It barely looks like I touched his cheek because I was just like, and then just like <laughs> took off because I was so nervous. And we had to do it twice. So I think the first one, I don't even think I did hit his cheek. And I think that that shot that they put in is actually the second shot because I was so nervous. And later uh, I found out that my mom was telling everyone, including like Usher and Scooter Braun and Patty and Ryan that like, oh yeah, like I don't know how Kristen's gonna do cause she's never been in a situation like this. She's never kissed a guy. And I was like, thanks mom for that. That's cool. And actually the video was supposed to end with us holding hands and jumping in the pool but it was really cold and I was wearing, I was wearing a white and black striped shirt and I wanna say that, that my undergarment was like blue or something, I don't know, 15 me, you know? It was worrisome that it might be like see-through or something, so I think it just got cut. That's why we did the kiss on the cheek and me leaving and Usher walking in and then the ball hitting Usher on the head was totally not planned at all. The kid was like, I'm so sorry. Cause like he just hit Usher in the head with a ball. Yeah, that is the story of how I did it. That's how you do it, guys. That's how you get in the Justin Bieber music video is you, you know, you get lucky. <laughs> Cause that's pretty
pretty much what I was. I don't know, it's such a cool experience and I'm so lucky and blessed to have it. It was such an incredible time. So after the music video, uh, Justin and I exchanged numbers. I remember him asking me while we were sitting and waiting to film more stuff for the video. We're sitting down, just hanging out with uh, Michelle, another person in the music video, and Ryan. And Justin just goes like, hey, like, I think he asked for my number, I gave him my number. And then he was like, so like, do you have a boyfriend? At the time, I was like, oh, I had already put in my head that like, I'm not gonna have a boyfriend until I'm at least 16, because I just didn't see a point in it. So I told him that, I was like, no I don't, but like, I'm not looking for a boyfriend until I'm at least 16. So then we're texting, and him and his mom are going to be in LA for a couple more days. I think they were leaving like, two days later or something for Georgia. Where I'm talking to Justin, my mom and Patty connected. Not the next day, but maybe the day after. We end up making plans. Justin's gonna come over, we're gonna hang out. Justin and I have been texting and he's like so charming. Let me tell you guys, I was homeschooled, okay? And I was social though. I was a part of a lot of homeschool groups. I know that those people who haven't been homeschooled, that sounds funny, but really, like I was part of a lot of groups. I would do basketball, I was in cheer, like I did a bunch of stuff. So let me tell you, the boys who are homeschooled are not as charming or confident or as outgoing or assertive as other boys, like Justin. So all of a sudden, I, I'd obviously talked to boys before him, and but no one had ever, it never been like, hey, I like you, like, I think you're cute, whatever. It was always like, I don't know, I don't even think they ever said those things like cute and I like you, it just wasn't, wasn't a thing. You just kinda like guessed and you heard it from your friends. It was like, you know, I was like, whoa. This guy, like he's so charming and he's so confident and he he thinks I'm cute and he wants to play basketball with me and like all this stuff. I was like, whoa, it was like a complete change of pace to what I was used to with other boys I had talked to. All of a sudden there's plans. Me and my mom are gonna go to LA, we're gonna pick them up from their hotel and we're going to bring them back to our house, maybe play some basketball at the court that we have near us, go get ice cream or something and then we'll take them to the airport. Let me tell you also at this point, I had never held a guy's hand. So I never kissed a guy on the cheek, and I never held a guy's hand. I was not, I didn't, I just, I was very, I was very closed off. <laughs> Justin comes over, we're hanging out, and it's all good, my sister's home, and then, oh, he comes back. That's what, that's what happened. We had been texting, and he said, hey, did you like the outfit that you were, had, like the wardrobe that you wore for the music video? And I was like, uh, I thought the shoes were really cool, because I was wearing these like super cool Nikes, that were like super in style, but like I also had like a Bob Marley belt on and just like regular shorts and regular shirts. So to me, like the other items were like, eh. But the shoes, the shoes were cool. So then he comes over, he's like, hey, look what I got you. And he gives me the shoes from the music video. Like, how sweet is that, right? I was like, oh my gosh, like, what a sweetheart. Like, that's so cute. Thank you so much, because one, these are expensive shoes. At the time, I was only really used to hand-me-down shoes or Rite Aid shoes. Wait, actually, one second. Okay, guys. I actually still have the shoes. <laughs> I mean, how do you get rid of something? I mean, this music video blew up and it was huge, and these were gifts, and they were so awesome that I actually still have them. Obviously, they're 10 years old. I didn't, I mean, I did wear them a lot back then, but the yellow is like, I don't know. These are the Nike, they were so cool. I was so excited about these, and I also played basketball, so I was like, dude, like, these are cool, right? These are cool basketball shoes. We're going to go walk to the park to go play basketball, and I put on like some other basketball shoes, and I remember Justin being like, oh, like, you didn't want to like wear the new shoes? And I was like, oh, like, I don't want to scuff them up. Like, I don't want to get them dirty. Like, we're playing basketball and it's kind of dark. Like, I don't want to, like, dirty them. <laughs> and he was like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, you know, because in my head, I'm like, they're brand new Nike shoes. Like, I am not ruining these, right? So then we end up going and then we come back and then we decide like, oh, let's go get frozen yogurt because he had never had frozen yogurt, him or Patty. So we go get frozen yogurt and then we drive to the airport. Now my mom's car, we had a Chevy Trailblazer and it was huge. So we had the middle aisle and then in the very back there were like two seats. So my sister had actually just torn her ACL in basketball. So she had this like, huge thing on her leg and she had to keep her leg straight and all this stuff. So she sat in the middle aisle with her leg extended and Justin and I sat in the very back. 
<laughs> like I said, at this time, I had never held a guy's hand or cuddled or anything like that with a guy. And Justin holds my hand. And I was like, hmm. I had never done that. All the butterflies, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> to him, it was probably completely innocent, like nothing, like not a big deal. Because he had had a girlfriend before and like he was more experienced. <laughs> that sounds really weird. With the opposite sex than I did. So then we drop off Justin and Patty to the airport. Yeah, so that's mine and Justin's relationship. We texted for a little while. I was completely smitten. Obviously, I think he liked me, but I don't think he obviously was as smitten with me maybe because like this was the first guy who'd ever given me that much attention or that kind of attention. And he he already had girlfriends. He was already like used to relationships, he was used to girls. I was reading into things more <laughs> than I should have been. I mean, things never like ended. We didn't have like a falling out. Like things weren't ever weird or awkward. It just kind of like, you know, texting. Like he was out of state like slowly dwindled off and then like that was it. However, he came back a few months later and we went to Disneyland and at this time, like it had already kind of like ended, but then, you know, he was holding my hand and we were running around Disneyland, like all around Disneyland. But again, it wasn't anything more than like, oh, like I think we both maybe find each other attractive and we have fun together, but it wasn't anything like, oh yeah, we're exclusive, we're boyfriend, girlfriend, we're dating. It was more so like, oh yeah, like we're kind of like talking, we're kind of hanging out. And it was innocent. It was nothing more than holding hands and me kissing him on the cheek. I think that, that sums it up. We had, he is super fun. Definitely when people would ask me about him, I'd always be like, yeah, he's really funny. And he's a total prankster. Like this kid just like loves to prank. Like what you see is what you get with, like he really just enjoys making people laugh and having a good time. Obviously he's grown now. I mean, we're both 25, so things are probably very different. I don't know who he is now exactly, but my mom and his mom still keep in touch and I hear that he's doing well and I hear that Haley is absolutely amazing and she's like the perfect match for him and they complete each other really well and I'm really happy for both of them. I'm like super excited that, you know, he's married now and be interested to see where he goes in life and I'm super happy with my life and where I am. I ended up leaving the entertainment industry in 2011 and stopped pursuing any of that. I just kind of focused on my life outside of LA and I met my amazing husband and he was my actually, my, my actually, he was my actual first kiss and I'm so happy about that and I'm so happy that he married me and chose me and we have a beautiful baby boy who is not a baby who's going to be two, so, and yeah. I think that sums it up. If you guys have more questions, feel free to comment them, or if you could, DM them, DM them to me on Instagram, and I'll like collect them all, and then maybe I'll make a Q&A Justin Bieber edition. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's all I can say. That's the tea, guys. That is the ultimate truth. So whatever else you read, whatever else you hear, whatever else you see, although I don't know what you would see, but that's, that's it. The only thing else was I went to his birthday, Sweet 16, and that was super fun. It's like the best weekend ever, other than my entire marriage. Because, you know, the best weekend ever was my wedding. That's great. And my son being boy. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much. If you hit the like button, thank you. I really appreciate it. Please comment, like, subscribe. I'm hoping to make more YouTube videos. I apologize. I have been so not around on YouTube since last year, December of last year. Things have been so crazy and we're hoping to get back into it. So if you guys want to see more videos, please like and subscribe this and share it if you would. I'd so appreciate it and follow me on Instagram. I am much more active on Instagram. I love Instagram and that's where I post most of my content and most of my life stuff. I don't know. If you like clothes, I like clothes. I can be friends. That's it. Bye.